A lot of pandemic shortages have ended now, but that's not true when it comes to a lot of different auto parts. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us what's in short supply in his Don't Waste Your Money report. When your car is in the shop for a few days, that's a pain. But some drivers are having to wait months to get their cars fixed because the parts to fix them are on back order. Ted Nippenberg is one of thousands of frustrated drivers waiting for a transmission module right now. You start it and you go to give it some gas and the car will only go a couple miles an hour. He's been waiting since last fall but says no local dealer can get the part. We don't know what the status is besides them saying we don't know when we can get it fixed. A few months back, George Weaver told me he had to drive his SUV without a catalytic converter after a thief stole it and the dealer couldn't find a new one. And they told you there's no catalytic converters anywhere? There are none in the country and we don't know when they're going to get the mess. It's Chris Bigham. Chris Ventura has been running an auto repair shop for more than 25 years, but he's never seen a part well, shortage as bad traffic. as this. It's frustrating and more frustrating because even your basic brake job can take major time to find the product. He says the worst shortages involve computer chips, such as transmission control modules or TCMs. This module right now, as it sits, you're on an eight month back order. In the past, many drivers would buy a used part, perhaps a module that had been remanufactured. But Chris says the problem now is that with so few new parts available, it's getting tougher than ever to even find a reconditioned part. What can you do? Chris suggests you visit an independent shop, which has more flexibility than dealers that usually have to use official parts. And don't be afraid of used parts if they come with a warranty. Ted Nippenberg and George Weaver are frustrated. I mean, we're willing to make payment, you know, buy a transmission, whatever, but at least tell us. The frustrating part about it is you're paying for a car and you can't use it. If your dealer doesn't have a part for you right now, check with other repair shops and some part suppliers. And that way, don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's ABC 27 News.